comma. I don't know why. I just think it looks so ugly. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Montana Showalter and I was a German exchange student uh, this past year as a part of the Congress Bundestag Youth Exchange Program. I make a bunch of YouTube videos about Germany and the US and the differences. And today actually marks 14 days that I've been back in the United States. I wanted to make a video on some of the reverse culture shocks that I've been experiencing going from Germany back to the US and basically all the things that I find strange or just um, different about America now. I've got about 10 different things. I can probably end up making a second reverse culture shock video because there are just so many things that I'm noticing. Oh, also, uh, welcome to my kitchen. I am trying to find the best lighting and best place to film in my house and right now it's the kitchen. My first reverse culture shock is just the general smiliness and waving of Americans. I know I always talked about this in my videos, but coming back to the United States and seeing all of this happen again, it just makes me so aware of it because in Germany people wouldn't really smile on the streets as much if you did especially if you didn't know them and they wouldn't wave but so far I've been on a lot of walks and bike rides with my mom in just our neighborhood and every single person you pass by they smile and they wave at you and it's kind of strange now because it's just like why are we doing this if you don't know them um I guess I've really turned more German but that was one of the big things and the second thing is that our roads are so ginormous they're huge they're super wide they're super long super straight and at least where i was in Passau, germany the streets were always fairly tiny but also the cars were smaller so it wasn't really a big deal and now coming back to america and driving on these huge roads seeing pickup trucks and just giant cars slamming by i'm like where am i it's so strange another thing that i've noticed is that houses in america are so far apart from each other and i guess it's because people want more lawn space but sometimes it's just excessive it's like a house is here and then a mile over here is another house in germany my house where i lived was in a pretty compact neighborhood so they were close together and we only had a backyard i think some of the houses didn't even have a yard maybe just a patch of grass in front so definitely not these giant yards like in the u.s another thing that i cannot get over is having no bakeries we have a few bakeries downtown but the closest is 15 or 20 minutes away and where i lived i could literally walk to a bakery if i wanted to and it was so nice so so delicious and fresh and here we just get bread from the grocery store mm, it's not the same and bread in america is so bad compared to german bread german baked goods and bread so good but hopefully i'll lose some weight now that i'm back in the u.s this is just a personal thing because with my host family at least i was used to eating these sit down family meals with all of us at the dinner table talking and the way our dinner table was set up was so that you could sit across from people and talk to them but here my family were only three people i don't have any siblings and this is our bar here i'll show you like this is our table and so it's just a straight line and it's hard to really talk to people or like talk to the three of us oh sorry Oops, there you go um and so it's just a very different eating dynamic and i think in general americans tend to eat more quick meals or like not together it's l more common in germany for families to sit down and have that designated or dinner or meal time versus in america we're on the go a lot people do get fast food sometimes or if anything for dinner i'll eat my own dinner and my parents will make their own dinner too i do miss family dinners and i know if i told my parents they'd totally be down for eating dinner together every night it's just not the same this is such a big one every single time i open my trash can i cringe and i just think 
oh there's so much plastic there's some there are cartons in the trash that could been that could have been recycled there's plastic yogurt containers that could have been recycled there's so much waste and i can't get over it but the thing is even if we did sort our trash it's not as easy to send those sorted containers to like recycling facilities as it is in germany just because our system is not set up like germany's and oh, i hate it i hate it already because i just i get on my parents now whenever they're using plastic whenever we have ziploc bags i try to tell them like there are other ways we could use more reusable um, methods like containers or just eliminating the excessive use of plastic and also walking into grocery stores now and seeing loads and loads of plastic bags and they're free you don't have to pay for them people are just grabbing like, plastic bags for no reason sometimes they double plastic bag their groceries i can't oh just living in germany has totally changed my mind on plastic also driving through my neighborhood <laughs> this is just a me thing but I'm, I was so used to seeing the bus stations throughout my city in Passau. And like, oh, there's a bus station, there's a bus, uh, not bus station, what am I saying? Bus stop, just like a bus stop. That now when I drive in my neighborhood, sometimes I think to myself, oh, here would be a good bus stop. Here would be a good bus stop. Um, too bad we don't have any buses. That's a very strange me thing. <laughs> not so much really a culture shock. I've just noticed we eat out so much in America or order food in like just as I've been here we've ordered Mexican in we've ordered Chinese and we've gone to Chick-fil-a which is a fast food restaurant and it's so so different I think in Germany I ordered we ordered in pizza a few times but it's also given our circumstances right now because we can't really go out or go out to a restaurant but just eating food that's not what we personally have cooked at home seems to be a lot more common here than it is in Germany. And I didn't really realize that before. Also, there's so much less bread. We just eat far less bread than I did in Germany. In Germany, I would eat bread for breakfast. Sometimes I would make a sandwich for lunch and then our dinner would be like pasta served with a side of bread. And here, maybe I'll eat bread once a day, but definitely not. As much as before another thing that i hate in germany or that i hate in the u.s now is that i've switched my phone back to the u.s region and before it was in the german region and so now all my numbers instead of the commas they're like the dots and the commas have switched so in germany they use 1000 would be one punkt no 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 but in the u.s it would be one comma no 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 i don't know why i'm saying no i could just be saying zero one comma zero 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 and even just like instagram followers it'll say the comma instead of the dot and i hate the comma i don't know why i just think it looks so ugly and i want it to switch back to the punkt the little dot it looks so much better yeah that's just also a me thing <laughs> Those are some of my differences that I've noticed. Uh, today's video is short. Thank you so much for watching. I'm definitely gonna make a list and think of some of the other things that I've noticed are so strange about America coming back. Like I said, I miss Germany so, so much. I hope that's obvious by all my posts, but I hope you continue watching these videos and I'm going to continue making them. So thank you so much. Hope you guys have a great day. Tschüss.